week. Has it a little bit longer now? Yeah, like our audience don't know, but we usually are like a week ahead when we're recording and stuff. So we are not live. Yeah, we're definitely not live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and before we start, again, guys, uh, like, comment, share on YouTube. And thank you to everybody on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and wherever else you listen to us. We see you. We hear you. We feel you. We get you. all the messages. We feel she feels you. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we definitely appreciate all the messages, all the love. Our audience is growing which we are definitely appreciative for. And again, for everybody else, uh, remember, guys, we are available everywhere, um, everywhere you listen to podcasts. Like I mentioned before, Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, iHeartRadio. We are Radio, here to stay. YouTube, obviously, and everywhere else. Anyways. You're not going to talk to yourself tonight, are you? Um, I like to, I, I do like to talk to my, you know, I have the best conversations with myself. Oh my God. You know, they say, when I say, I don't know who they is, but I, w I was always told that you're not crazy when you talk to yourself. You're only crazy when you answer yourself. But I you do that all the time. You know damn I've seen you answer yourself too. That's what I said. I'm like, <laughs> I literally will have like. Remember, I'm like, what about what when you're walking through the door? What is that character yeah, from? Yeah, you can't do that door. <laughs> from Lord of the Rings, Smeagol. Smeagol, the short guy. Precious. No, like the 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 crazy looking. That's you. Yeah, like That's he was you. having a full on argument with himself. Literally. Yeah, um, you know, it, it's cool, actually cool. It, like in the car, it's easy to do that because people think I'm on on the phone, you know. But I kid you not, I have full on conversation. I think I'm crazy. Are you in the car like? Well, you do have multiple names. Yes. So do you like tell yourself like, hey, Ali, you know what time it is. No, Arash, I'm not down tonight. No, yeah. but legend, you are down. Yeah. No, yeah. Ali, I'm telling you, I'm not risking yes. it. Yes. It's, it's an That's orgy you. with me. It's it's a personality <laughs> orgy. Freak. <laughs> it's a personality orgy with tell me. Tell me I don't why know. I could see it. Huh? I could see it. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm not even oh joking. Like, I, I think like I'm going crazy. My dad is going crazy. Anyways, um, you know, um, the last episode we put up, uh, last couple of episodes we put up. Oh, God. Um, that was a lot of attention. <laughs> a lot. Um, which was, uh, uh, well, two episodes we put up. Basically, one was... Um, dating, uh, not your own kind. Yeah, dating, interracial dating. And then the other one was also, um, you know, what is good sex, uh, which is coming out by the time we record this, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, so a lot of people actually hit me up and there were some very, very colorful comments. And, you oh, know, yeah. a lot of people actually, and I put up a poll about, you know, whether or not people would actually stick to their own race or whether or not they would date they outside all jump of the, out the hole? I was surprised, you know. Mine actually said they're in, in it with their own kind, but they're about to jump out the hole. Yes, yes. There was a lot of that. But a lot of people, you know, they... You know, on, I mean, a lot of people tend to like vote, but it's funny too. Like they'll send me a message, like explaining their vote to me. You know, isn't that sad? Yeah, yeah. And so they'll be like, well, you know, I, I voted, you know, yes, or I voted no because of this reason or so whatever. Like, please, and I'm I like, need to vent. I'm like, listen, I'm not calling <laughs> the cops on you or anything. I just want to know what you know your opinion is on it. But a lot of people are actually like, you know what, we enjoy dating outside of our race. race and you know it's surprising because you made a lot of points about how your own race which we're both from the right. same raza and uh, raza. you know we're persian obviously and you said a lot of persian men are you know uh aggressive and controlling but believe it or not that seems to be the trend because a lot of people uh, said they are also from yeah everybody's like oh, you know shit. my 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 people are the same way mm -hmm. you know like a lot of my armenian friends a lot of my uh well any Latino middle friends, eastern no even even latinos La and Latin, yeah and i mean like a lot of my mexican girlfriends mm -hmm. were like yeah dude I, w I i don't like dating my own race because the men are like you know very controlling, controlling. and i'm like really i was like wow you know I mean, wouldn't you want to see how your girl acts so you could see if she's out of character or is she too much? Is she trashy? Is she ratchet? Let her be her so you could see the results. But then again, I, I, I look, I feel like two things. Number one, you know who you got into a relationship with. To or begin you, with. you should know or have an idea. Like wherever you met your girl, whatever it is that she was she was doing, and I'm speaking to the guys directly. You already know what she was about. No, you know? no I don't know. Listen, about that. listen. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You're not gonna find. You like, already choking. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm choking on my pubes. I'm just kidding. Um, it, no. Yeah. So you're not going to find like a girl that was like a goody two shoes. And then now that she's with you, suddenly she turned ratchet. All you of know? a slut. Right. So I'm saying if you met her and she was already like that, then, then you already know prepared. what you're getting yourself into. You know, right. if, if you met her at a club, if she was a heavy drinker, if she was always around guys, if she was ratchet, if she liked to do ratchet things, which I'm not against, but mm. you already know what she was about. You know what I mean? You know so, your chick. you know, can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Uh, you know, yeah. Can you? And then, I mean, and you can make that same argument for the girls. Like, you know, you can't know turn what a you're. Cheater into non cheater? Well, let's not consider all guys to be cheaters. But I'm saying, like, if he was a little bit of a wild boy, you know. He Every likes man to, is an opportunist. Well, okay, fine. I mean, it, we can say that. But I'm saying, for the most part, if your guy is the type of guy that likes, likes to stay out late, hang with the boys, smoke, drink, be at strip clubs before you met him, you know? That's just who he is. That's just who he is, you know? So that's number one. So if you don't like that, then don't date that. And then the second part to that also comes with your own security level. You know, if you're secure. The thing is, no matter who you're dating or not, there's always secrets. Yes. And you so know I what? Actually, we should talk about that. People, because they do well, hide stuff. Well, I'm going to get to a point here very quickly, and you're bringing it home. Speaking of secrets, okay, what about when they are still friends with the ex? Sex with the ex. Is that something that... What do you mean, as if, like, in one sentence? Well, and okay, so when I meet somebody, uh -huh. right, I'm very, very... The thing that I zoom in on a lot is always, how long have you been single? Mm, you know, makes because if they just broke up, they're still fucking. They're still banging it six out. Six months in. Yeah. I mean, six months I would, out, they I still I would fucking. say anything within a year, like if they tell you months, like I broke up a month, forget it. Six months, forget it. A anything months, 10 months ago, there's still potential of them po messing around. You said the word potential. Right. Because I do know some guys and some girls, when they drop someone, they drop Dead. Absolutely, absolutely. But but at the same time, look, I feel like, again, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about how long it could take to get over somebody. But yeah. I'm saying in general, generally speaking, when I talk to someone and somebody tells me I just became single six months ago, mm -hmm. oh, I may still talk to you to try to get to know you, but I'm not going to take you serious because anything can happen. You I can actually bullshit. go back. Well, well, listen, you can still get go get back with that guy, which has happened to me where... You know, oh, I, I just broke up with him seven, eight months ago, right? You start seeing the girl, but maybe six, seven months is not long enough for her to be over Healed, the guy, right? Right. So then suddenly, somehow, that guy, you know, appears, and I'm just, you know, putting in in my situation, mm -hmm. the guy shows up, and guess what? The time you guys spend everything out the door, and she's back with him, like drops me in a second and gets back. So I know what you mean. And then, or, or on, or on the other hand. Because that ex is still around in some capacity and it's been a very recent breakup, anytime she feels like she needs that need to feel Comfort secure, comfort comfort be comforted comfort, yeah. or whatever, obviously that guy is, has, the one she goes to. is the, who she's going to go to and the potential of them fucking is, high. is very, very high. Now. Obviously, like, that's what I'm saying. But but when you date somebody, in my again, in my experience, if if it's been more than a year, you know, like we broke mm -hmm. up a year. Like for example, like uh, I meet a lot of single moms. You know, yeah, absolutely, single mommies hit me up. Lord you know, Jesus, I think he just gave the green light to what he's interested single in. Single mommies, yeah. And I'm so telling you, I, I, on a on a on a side note, the reason why I like single moms, number one, they don't have baby fever. Okay, because I don't want to have any more kids. And You're gonna have one more, huh? We already discussed this. You better, you better go s cut that tongue off immediately. Absolutely not. No. You need another child. No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go rip my balls off tonight. I'm not, I'm not snip, having snip. any more kids. Yeah. So I like single moms because number one, they don't have baby fever. Because I don't, I don't even want to have that conversation. Number two, because I'm a single dad, they're very empathetic towards having a kid because we could make plans tonight. But guess what? My son fell or he got sick or something happened. His mom can't. Guess what? We're going to have to cancel because I got to watch my son. Somebody That's that a has. a good mother. Some, well, 
I'm saying somebody that has kids will understand why I'm going to cancel on you tonight because I got to watch my son. You know, somebody that has kids. 90% of your cancellations is not that reason. That's true. That's true. Okay. So a lot of times. Mr. Bust the nut and get back on that's into true. bed. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but again, when if it comes down to actually like, you know, getting serious with somebody, they will understand that my kid will always come before you. As it should. Well, that's what I'm saying. So when they have kids, that's automatic. And like I said, most importantly, they don't talk about having kids anymore. You know, I've dated women that haven't had kids. And after a few months, it's like, especially when they see my son or picture, oh, my God. Oh my God! I wish I had a kid, and that's you also have women that have wedding days planned out with you. Um, yeah. See, those There's a few of them actually. Those kinds of conversations um, we're not having. We we want to talk about, and that's another thing. Single moms that have set a date. Th I'm telling you, they're not <laughs> really into that. They're not really into having obviously having kids, and they're not really striving for. Let's get married and stuff. I'm not talking about every single woman, but the ones I'm I met. Sure they want to some of them. They want commitment. Look, most women want security. That's what women want. That's a fact. You know, that's, that's what fact. women want. Mm -hmm. You know, and and again, mature women that have been through the ringer. Yeah. They understand that you know having a wedding or you know or or even having a baby does not secure your place with that man. They've already experienced you know, it. Right. So most women want security. You know now. Be, as you know, be that as it may, but when we go back to the subject of exes in the picture, so when somebody is a single mom, for example, and they have a baby daddy, I always ask, you know, number one, how involved is he? How, what, like, I, me, and my son's mm -hmm. mom, we have a very good co-parenting relation. We don't like each other. That's you know? fine. I mean, but, as long as you co-parent, but we co-parent. You know, when she can't watch him, I'll watch him. You know, and there's no drama. So my first question is always like. Is a drama between you and your ex, you know? Mm, makes a lot of sense and because you want to be already secure enough to know what you're running yourself into. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah, an yeah, evaluation. Yeah, sure. you know? Is there drama between you and your baby daddy, you know? Is there still feelings? Is, yeah, well, and then that's the second part. And I don't ask, is there st still feelings? Because, again, I can understand that's your son's dad. So there's always going to be that the connection. You know, that's my son's father, my daughter's yeah. father. But most importantly, are you guys still hanging out? Are you guys still mm. talking? Is there some type of relationship, you know? And you know, and that's how I like to open it up because I'd you, like to let everybody know that if I did have a baby daddy, I will be hanging out with him. Well, that's well, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like that will be a huge problem yeah. because yeah, to me, be. it's like, look, I can understand you having a good co-parenting relationship with your baby daddy, right. with your, you know, son's mom or daughter's mom or whatever. Again, what that entails is any. Thing in regards to that child, you know, is between you and your ex. However, everything outside of that, there should be nothing there. You know, there shouldn't be like, hey, I, hey, I'm going to go hang out with my son's dad. We're going to go to the ball game together. But what if you have a situation where one has already let go of the full romantic part of the relationship, but the other person hasn't been able to really fully let that go then that's still an issue as well i will respect that but i will make the choice not to get involved but what if it's just a hit and run for you you would do it yeah hit and run absolutely But you're not the relationship type anyways you're saying R but i'm but but again when we're talking about if we're talking about generally speaking okay. right if it's going to be a hit and run it doesn't matter i don't care you know if you're you know, have a kid, don't have a kid, you know, are with your ex, don't have it. It is what it is. Well, Mr. Legend, I'm starting to feel like this show is starting to make you feel like you might start dating again. <laughs> Listen, I am dating. <laughs> No, 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 no. I no. am dating. No, I'm talking a serious relationship. Hey, listen, anything Slowly can happen. Slowly but surely, guys, if you notice from episode one hey, look, until like right an hour or Anything can happen, you know. But what I am saying, anything though. Anything or anything. Anything can happen. Anything can make it happen, too. <laughs> When the henny is involved, then <laughs> bad things will happen. But look, anything can happen. I'm not saying absolutely not. But what I am being very strict on, even myself, is I'll make sure to have... Look, I'll be honest with you. Like, in the last year, I probably talked to... 60 girls. Probably even more, you know. You fucking dirtbag. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even going to lie. Because here's the thing. 
at the end of the day, I want to make a good choice for myself. God you know? damn, you went through that many girls and you don't know if it's a choice there? Well, you know, I mean, and I'm not saying like, you know, I... I that is why women are unvalued. There's way too many women in this world and not enough men. Hey, look, it's not that. It's just, again, like what we talked about. It's a quick evaluation process, you know? We go through it, you know, boom, 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 boom. How many oh. days do you give them? Hmm? Or how many episodes or how many like um, meet up? Well, you don't, not even a meet up. How many phone calls or how many like... Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Vibe. I don't really do the phone calls too much. So you it's know? a quick like, let's see each other, let's catch a vibe. Yeah, like, first, I mean, right off the bat, I gotta see you. You know what I mean? We gotta see. We gotta talk. You so know, you're we, definitely more into the sexual attraction. First. No, 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 and I know that's what you want to zoom in on. Well, no, because you said that at this age, we're not into that. Listen again. Of course, of course, there has to be <laughs> physical attraction. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna want to have to bang the hell out of you. You know. That goes without a say, but I'm telling you, I need more. I need more. I need a certain feeling, and I'm not talking about like you know, like that fuzzy butterfly feeling. I'm talking about like when I leave that date that you night. You want you want to come back. I want to be like you know what? It was so good talking to her. See, it that's was. What I'm saying you want you want someone you could fuck their brains out. Like their head, not like that. Like not like literally, that. yes, I do that, actually want to do like that. But I'm saying like you want to fall in love with their mind. Their, <laughs> yeah, I mean, know. I don't listen. I don't, I'm not even going to talk. Call it falling in love, you know, because all that. Do you know what that is? What Disney? falling in love? Oh, this. Yeah, we all know beauty. You know, and the actually, beast. there's been a correlation that's been made recently where the effects of heroin is the same effect as falling in love. Don't say that. And uh, going through withdrawals is the same tonight? as like being heartbroken and stuff. Do you want to try like, it tonight? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's shoot up. That's probably the last thing I need in my life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so again, when it comes down to that, you know, um, yeah, you and I've said this many times, evaluation process is very, very important, you know, because if you don't, right, you're going to play yourself because I then you're, you're, you're just, yeah. you're just basically like, telling yourself to settle ah you know what she's still hanging out with her ex who cares you know you know what her her ex calls her all the time who cares it's all good you know what she's kind of a little bitch but i like that but you what know? if she allowed you and the ex to hang out and you saw that there's nothing there like and you being a man knowing yo they are totally homies Okay, and like I said, I think that to an extent, I can accept that. You know, again, okay. if there's a child involved. No, no, what if there was no child, but her ex no. is like her best friend, no. and then you roll up and you see no. they're like literally like homeboys. No, 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 absolutely not. No, no, because first of all, it'll be awkward. But you what know? if they've known each other 20 plus years? Well, again, and here's the thing. I am not the type to go in there and to force anything. You right. know, if I were to step into a situation, she's like, "Hey, you know what? This guy right here, he, we were together at some point, but we've been friends for the last ten years. He's my homie, and this and that." I would truly be like, "You know what? I respect that, but I respect my needs as well, and I'm out." You know, there's just way mm. too many options uh. out there for me to to because here's what I'm saying. You obviously never gonna get a perfect situation out never. of anything. You know? Nope. Absolutely not. But you cannot settle if there's something that bothers you. Right. Like for example, I would never date a smoker, right? Like I'm talking about cigarette smoker. You've been trying to date me for ten years. I'm a smoker. Mm, that's kidding, the only guys. thing that's kidding. holding us back. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I would never date a smoker. You gotta bust their balls. <laughs> Everyone already thinks a shit. little bit. No, I would. So my point is like. If I meet somebody, the moment I see them pulling out a cigarette, I'm By the like, way, I'm not a smoker. I'm like, oh, we're done. You know what I mean? Because I'm not here to tell you what to do and what not right. to do, but I'm just telling you that it doesn't like it's already a, a, a no with me, and I'm just not going to go down. What that. if she smokes weed? Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. But that's what I'm saying. She has to fall into like the category that mm. I prefer her or in. accept. Accept. So, like I said, like. Being friends with your ex, Person you know, men being controlling, no way. No, listen, I do not control women. I manage them. There's a big, big difference. I'm dead. All right. I, if you guys don't comment on this one, I swear to God, I am a man that manages. You I do not you're control. You're doing an interview right now. You went deep on that one. You said I am a man. Yeah, because <laughs> no. like, like little boys control. 
you know but like i said i'm i'm way above that you know i already know I, daddy already knows what he's swinging so is that what it is daddy i'm telling you so i manage the situation you know and i'll tell you right now some things are unmanageable so it's like you know what i just can't deal with you you know um some and that's people just are that. unmanageable it really is like yeah, that it is so listen there's been times where I would date someone or I would be with someone and there would be certain things about that person that I didn't like and I settled, you know, and it always came back you to bite me in the, in the ass, ass yeah. you know, because yeah, 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 yeah. let me tell you something. That person, the like, it, same thing for women. If you do that for that person, that person will never appreciate that. See, They'll, I have a problem. Like when I date somebody, I have a long. It takes me forever to let go. Like I cannot let go because I invest so much. That is a problem. And here I am now investing years and years, and it's like, but I did so much work here. Right. Yeah. And and look, and it's it's like that for some people. And I truly, truly feel like that is something that you need to work on. Mm -hmm. It's like anything else. Like, I agree. Like it's like business, right? You have a business, I have I have business, whatever, you know. And in those types of situations, obviously, you don't put your heart into it. But let me tell you something. Like, you know, I, I, I make some money on the stock market, right. right? But I'm very, like, unemotional about it, you know. You if, have when to I, be. When I lose That's or when like I gambling. win, you know. And the thing about it is, like, but I have friends. And I'm just using that as a comparison. They get into it with me. And there's a certain position that we get in on. I'm like, okay, I'm cutting my losses. I'm like, no, 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 hold on, hold on. And they're trying to, like, you know, get something back out of it. And guess what? It's digging them, you know, deeper and deeper mm -hmm. and deeper into the hole. And when they're completely done and bankrupt because out of scary. it. Because they're scary. You know, it's like, and I'm like, you got to know when to, to quit. And that's what I'm saying. When you meet somebody and you feel like that person is not living up to your stand. Now, again, some people, guy and girls, have crazy standards you know like yeah i don't like it's like, like okay I'm very easy going. okay bro okay girl calm down mm -hmm. you know you're not yeah. you're not god's gift to this earth you know but at the same time you have to have a certain standard for yourself mm -hmm. that says you know what i need to be with a person that is within this type of realm you know and if that person falls short of that then it's up to you to decide to to disown to disown the situation to oh, be like god damn you just came with the banger <laughs> i'm telling you i'm telling you <laughs> hey tell me why i'm over here like yeah yeah and then i hear this song <laughs> you're like oh i know that song no, but that should make a song that, it, it, we're in the process <laughs> but that that's what i'm saying you got to disown that situation you got to be like oh you know mm -hmm. what this i've i've been here. and again that's where your age and your experience comes in because when you're young and you're dumb and stupid you don't know any better oh my god yes it's all good but that's why when you get to a certain I'm age i'm cracking up because I know. i'm so happy the young you showed up today you're all your brains are here today you literally threw disowned in there good job she's <laughs> so impressed came, by that he came with all the brains so, today you guys see how i impress women now when i go Bullshit. out with them just a couple guys, of words a couple of words from daddy like old, this he went from 58 and to 30 they today. melt like butter in daddy's hands what Anyways. Where to go? <laughs> no, but literally, your age just went from 58 because last week you can't even think straight. And today you're like, came in strong. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. And uh, I did not masturbate did this off? morning. <laughs> we see, we. I did not masturbate We're this synced. morning. We're and, and I feel And I feel good. But look, th that's what I'm saying. So you just can't sell yourself short. You cannot settle, you know. And guess what? If that person leaves, if that person, you know, it's like after. And. That's what I always say. Don't put too much into it right away. I can see that. You know, like give it whatever, two months, three months, four months. But during that time, you're obviously making an effort. So it's not like, you know, give it three months and never talk to this person. You're yeah. obviously, you're talking to this person. You're texting this person. You're hanging out with this person. You know, you're having sex with this person. You're doing everything with this person. Sex? Absolutely. Oh yeah, Absolutely. first night, bang it out. Absolutely, bang it out. Abs because we talked about this on the last episode. You or know, like of them. <laughs> yeah, on, on on pretty much all episodes. You know, <laughs> like you got to make sure you guys are in sync sexually as well. Um, yeah, and and look, man, after two, three months, four months, you know, like hmm, you know, I, I'm if you have these kinds of thoughts where you're like, mm, I don't know, um, you know, when you start talking to yourself, like, dude, let it go. Let it go because 
You're just trying to convince yourself. You're just trying to sell yourself. Oh, um, that's why you talk to yourself. Oh, you're always trying to let it oh go. Oh my God, I'm always trying to let something go. I'm always like, oh my God, you <laughs> he know. He said, "Talk to yourself." So as soon as he said that, you guys uh, listen. You know, and here's the thing, I'm though. Busting balls but but today. here's the thing: when you do talk to yourself, you gotta be honest with yourself. Make it make sense. Make like be like if you lie to yourself. Oh, you're in trouble. Then don't talk you to yourself. You know how many people I know? They're like. I got this. I know I got. I can't do this shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you know, if you cannot be honest with yourself, because look, that's that's an art form of its own. You, you know what? That's a whole conversation, a whole episode. People like are in the like in denial, like delusional, like they think they're pathological liars, bro. Like literally, they tell themselves they got this, and they're just yeah. Brrr. Like look, and and I think it co it comes down to your strengths. You know, if you know your we strength, all been there. huh? We all been there. Well, yeah, we've all been there. But like, have we all given ourselves good advice? No. A lot of us look. Prison is full I'm of worse people. My own, Listen, I'm on my prison worst is full of people that gave themselves <laughs> terrible advice. You know what I mean? More like, power to my people that are inmates. There's a lot of people in there right now that at some point were like, the, somebody approached them and said like this. Hey, bro, or hey, girl, you want to go rob me. that? No, no, bank? they're like, they started off by saying like this, like, hey, trust me. And or guess no, what? We got this. And guess what? They just gave themselves a, a life sentence. A, a <laughs> bad, bad, bad situation. We love our inmates. We know look, we got viewers. Look, look, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, and all jokes aside, if you know, and that's the first part. If you know you cannot be honest with yourself, dude, don't listen to yourself. Then you should probably seek help, you know, with whatever it is, counseling, you know, with, with certain decision making. But, you know, when it comes back down to this whole idea of choosing a mate, you know, like me personally, you know, like these are the things that I look for. How long have you been single, you know? Um, and again, in my age group, you know, what are you like, looking in, for? like what, exactly what are you looking? And, and I tell you right now, I've been around the block long enough where I can just spot bullshit. When women yeah, start like to bullshit. In. Yeah. Like, I mean, again, when they when, when they've, first of all, going back to how long it takes you to get over somebody, they say for every year you've been with someone, you didn't, you need a month. So if you to get over that person, that is a damn lie. So if you were I with some, year. listen. If you if you were with somebody five years, they say you need like five months to get over that person. You know, again, hmm. this is not something scientific. There's not something like okay, after your fifth month, you're done. But it makes sense because again, so how long were you with that person? I've been with that person for three years. Let's let's just say three years. How long have you been single? I've been single for like ten months now. You're like, okay, cool. Cause you guys see the body language. Because then I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we can we can go route. Now me personally, right? I don't want to have any more kids. You know, so that's the second thing I'll bring up. You know, do you have kids? Yes, I do. Great. You know. No, I don't. Ooh, you don't, huh? Okay, well. But what if you have someone that does not want kids at all? Well, I, I'll, I'll put it out there like, hey, listen, I have a kid. I don't want to have any more kids, right? And if they say, oh, I don't want to have any kids either because there are some women that don't want to have kids, that's cool. However, again, going back to the empathy part and understanding that, listen, my son is always going to come before you. Mm -hmm. You know, if my son needs me in the middle of the night, yeah. our plans are going to be canceled. Out. Yeah. So it's levels to it before I'm like, listen, are you, sh and that's why I'm very careful with, like I could be dating a lot of women, I could be talking to a lot of women, but to actually like be serious and be like, we're in a committed relationship, that's what I'm saying, there's layers to this onion. I, there is? Yeah, there's layers to this onion, onion baby. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you can't just look at the outer crusty, you know, mold aside and be like, that's how the whole onion I is. I wonder no. how many people watch them, like they're so blonde sometimes, like I be going places. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we make a good, we're like Rick and Morty. I heard, you know I Rick and Morty? Onions. I'm Rick. You're Morty. You're Morty. You're Morty. You're Morty. You're Morty. 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 <laughs> that means you're dead in Farsi. Morty. <laughs> anyway, so th that's what it comes down to. You know, so if, you know, uh, like, what is your relationship with your ex? Do you want to have kids? You know, with him. And then also, you know, the other thing that I tend to like to bring up is, you know, how secure are you mm, in your situation? That's such an important thing. You Honestly, know. like all the bullshit aside, me joking around right now, that security, there's levels to that shit and it's such a serious yeah. thing. You know, it's so important. I don't want to be with some, like, and again, security, we're not just talking about financial. 
We're also talking mentally, mentally yeah. emotionally, mm -hmm. and of course, financially. You know, now again, and I said this before, most guys, I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't care how much money you make, you know. But at the same time, I would like to be with someone that can hold her own. That can hold her own, yeah. you know. And, it, and, and it's because, again, the idea that, the way I look at it is like this. Look, I want to, like, add to the picture. Yes. I don't want to be the focal point of your picture. I don't want you... You know, as that person to be like, oh, I don't do anything for myself. I'm waiting for somebody to come and help me financially, help me emotionally, help me mentally, help me physically. No, 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 no. If I have ten dollars in my account, would you date me? Yeah, yeah, I do. And you know what? I would, as long as you're good. You know. But what if I brought a lot to the table, like knowledge? No, no, no. Here's what I'm saying. Like, if you only had ten dollars in your account, mm -hmm. right? I would still date. However. Don't expect me to, like, just to look at it and be like, look, I got $10, and let's just say I have $100, you know what I mean? Now that, that $100 is mine. <laughs> it's like, listen. Can we at least split it? No, no, no. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Let me get a 50. Mine is mine, and what's yours is yours. And guess what? If you got 10 so we're going to be keeping it at that level. You know what I mean? So, again, are we going to do and nice why things? why I'm independent. Are we going to do nice things? Sure. What are we going to do with $10? Go to Taco no, no, Bell? No, no, no. I'm saying like if we're going to look at if you have $10 and I have $100. Oh, we're going to combine it? No, we're not. But what, what we're saying is like every once Everyone's in a while. Everyone's going to die right every, now of laughter, I yeah, swear. Yeah, because listen, listen. <laughs> no, I said we're going to combine it. You said no, no, no. Yeah, because <laughs> this idea that women have, right, where it's like, oh, yours is mine. I don't think like you that. Know? So. But most women do. Most women, Persians, do. you know, I mean, most women across the board, you know, Actually, most you're right. It's all women. And I don't want to say all women. I, I'm, I'm going to keep it general and say most women are like, well, this is what I have. And oh, you have this. Well, I'm going to. No, 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 no. And it's and then, of course, when I say no. Right. Some women want to accuse me of being cheap or whatever. It's like, no, listen, listen, we'll do nice things. Of course, you know, but just don't expect it. If I do it, then let me do it. You know? Yeah. But if I don't do it... Don't expect don't it. Don't expect it. And let me... But going back to my Persian girls, I'm actually very proud of a lot of Persian women because they hold their men down. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I mean Latins do too. All cultures do. But Persian men, women really do hold their men down, though. A good woman does it, uh, period. Mm -hmm. A good woman does, you know? And very a good and, and a good man does it to a good woman, too. So mm -hmm. I'm not here bashing anybody, you know? But, but again... we. But can I hold your hundred? No. No. No, absolutely not. I want to take my ex out. Mm-hmm. Take your ex out this with my exes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you know what? And that's another thing. And then that's like, I, I know women that do that. Oh, where you got me effed up on They'll that borrow their dude's car to take out the ex or Don't they'll. Don't tell me you've been picked up in a girl with a ex-boyfriend's no. car with a no. girl. No, 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 no. Like, that's what I'm saying. I do like to investigate. I, I do like to evaluate mm -hmm. before we get take it because i can tell you right now out of let's just say a hundred women that i've talked to i promise you 90 of them were full of shit and i know guys get that reputation you know like you know but trust me you know what is it that was full of shit about them did they like make themselves seem like they were at a 10 but they were like a four yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean this <laughs> this one girl no, i'm one, really interested in knowing yeah this one girl me, like, actually I, like for me like what you see is what you get like since you've known me and as long as you've known Anything that you've seen has been accurate, and it's facts. But I'm just saying, like, people like to, what, pump themselves up? Yeah, pump themselves up and just be something they're not, you know? Like, in what sense? In everything. Like, you know, obviously, financially is the first thing. You know, like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm this, I'm that. And then you realize, wait, you ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like, you you, you floating on handouts and you know daddy's money or or i have you zero know. respect for people you that know. love the love to live the luxury life but then, none of it's their own money and, and then the other thing the other thing drives too, me nuts and then the other thing too is just you can tell like it's like most women today don't make me laugh it's like like your style is not your own style you know they all mm. try to look like kim kardashian straight up you know like most women most and and, and again and i'm well, not trying kim, to i'm no. not trying to bash anybody you know, but what I'm saying is like, so that's how I can already determine like, well, you ain't, you don't have your own style. You know, like you talk like everybody else, you know, with like that, oh my God, accent, like, you know, what like, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's how they talk because the Kardashians talk like that. 
you know. Her own so daughter a lot of burned them, her on one the, of the videos. A lot of them want to, like, they want to act like that. And then That's the other hilarious. thing, too, is, you know, some women are just straight up like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, if you don't do, like, that, I'm too hard for you type of attitude. It's like, well, look, we are already not going to. Mingle. You know, mi- yeah, we're Mesh. not we're not starting off on the right foot right, here. Right, right. You know, so again, the evaluation process. Mm-hmm. You know what I do personally. Um, you know, again, you know, are you friends with your ex? You know, do you want to have kids? How long have you been single? Yeah. You know, <clears throat> what um, do you? And then of course, things. what do you do? Like when you get, str- and of course, it's not it's not a job interview, so it's not like you directly ask, but you know, in conversation. So. What do you do to, you know, diffuse yourself? What do you do to, like, relieve, you know, some stress, you know? And I hate it when they tell me, oh, I like to be outdoors or I like to, you know, be hiking or stuff like that. It's like, no, no, no. Listen, Mm -hmm. obviously when you're stressed, it's not like immediately you just get up and start going hiking. I understand if you do that on the weekends or what, but generally speaking, you know. Me, just leave me the F alone for two, three hours. And and the reason why I ask that, okay, is because that's how I determine how mentally stable you are. Now, some people, when they start telling me like, uh, you know, I, I, oh man, you know, I, I I break stuff. I you know, I start punching the walls. You know, I, I I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I I start getting physical. I I drink. I gotta have a drink. You know, I gotta have this. I got, you know, to like right then and there. I'm like, okay, well, you are not mentally fit. You know, because life will always throw curveballs. Like imagine me, I'm six three, two hundred forty pounds, right? If I lose my shit every time and I start punching walls and I start like throwing, people are gonna be like, "This guy is fucking crazy." Did you just say two forty again? Yeah, I'm about two forty, two forty five. Two sixty? No, no, no. Come on, let's take it easy. Take it easy, bring sweetheart. Bring in a freaking scale. Next let's time. bring in a scale. But that's that's my point. It's like if somebody like if I were to act like that, you're gonna be like, "Well, this guy is fucking crazy." You know what but I some mean? Some girls like, get turned on. Yeah, but that's not the type of girl you want to have a relationship with. You know, that's the type of girl that's going to make you end up being in prison. You know, like she, <laughs> she she's going to like be out there the starting ones that shit. don't have their own mind. Yeah. Hey, hey trust me. Yeah, trust yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Just trust me. So, no. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> uh, that, oh, you know, something always bad happens when somebody approaches you and says, hey, trust me on this. Oh, uh, no. How about I don't they trust They don't trust you? themselves. So right. They're telling you to trust it. So being mentally secure is a huge thing for me, you know. And then also, you know, I talk about like. And again, I I get into like, so how did you get over your last heartbreak or like how did you deal with it and stuff? Because again, I am evaluating. I'm trying to see how you deal with some emotional what issues. What if she said I slept with 30 guys in 30 days? Listen, I've had like some crazy oh, ass. Oh, hell no. no. Not like that. <laughs> not like that, but the craziest thing, <laughs> the craziest thing somebody one time told me, she's like, yeah, when my when my ex broke up with me, like I don't, I didn't know what to do. Like as I was driving, I took my gun and I started shooting it out the window. That's what she told and me. And this guy's talking about not being around psycho people. Well, that's where the evaluation <laughs> process comes in. Because obviously, when she said that, when she said that, I was like this. I was like, Yeah, baby, you just turned uh, me on. Boop, boop, boop. I was like, What? You know what Did I mean? Did you block her? I mean, I just stopped talking to her. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, yeah, like, she said it like it was like nothing. You know, she's like, I just didn't know what to do. I took my gun and I just started shooting it she out said, the window or said, like the sunroof boop, boop, while I was boop, boop. while I was driving. So <laughs> right then and there, I was like, well, this is not going to work. Have a good day. You're you know? like, you know what? I, lo- I, I like talking to you for the last yeah. four days, but my, uh, unfortunately, I'm going through a really bad medical situation, so I can't talk to you anymore. And look, and I mean, I know this is a very like extreme case but yeah, I, it would just stands up because simpler? that's what she told huh you couldn't give the audience a little bit something smaller bro. Like that, but i'm saying like that's what boop, boop, boop. that's when i'm like okay we're done you know what i mean like there's so i'm like <laughs> i'm I'll, immediately i started thinking about like oh my god he imagine i pissed say her like off she wanted to commit suicide he said she went outside and said Let that's the what she fly said where they she land, said they land. i didn't know what to do i drove and then on the freeway <laughs> She started, she didn't, I, I don't remember when she said out of her oh sunroof God, or out of her sad. window, she started, and I'm like, huh, okay, well, goodbye, you know, basically, but again. I don't know, you guys, I kind of feel like he got turned on by no, that. No, 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 <laughs> trust me, I did not, and I was just like, immediately, I was like, 
what? Like in my head, that's I was like, sad. What because you know say? what goes up always comes down. So what, to me, wh- that's bullshit. What did she just say? I mean, forget that part about the bullet going <laughs> up and down. I'm just thinking to myself, I was like, she's just gonna kill me one day. Like, I don't know what to do. So I started shoot. So things like that, or or date safely. You know, guys. I when when they talk about like yeah, like oh my god, yeah, my ex boyfriend. Every time he would piss me off, man, I would just start socking him, or I started. Bi- I'm like, okay, so. This is not going to work. So, yeah. So, <laughs> that's how I like to get down to the bottom of it, you know? Like, again, are you mentally stable? Are you emotionally stable, you know? And obviously, oh financially, like, God. you know, I'm dead. What, what, do you, what do you do for a living? Like, I mean, again, if she's like, hey, you know what? Like, I'm whatever, you know what I mean? I, I work, you know, customer what if service. She's like, I do yoga. And then next thing you know, she's like, a ni- uh, grabs knives and starts stabbing you. Well, again, you know, you can never go by 100%. But, again, I would much rather somebody tell me I do yoga than I take a gun and I start blasting out the window or something. Because, again, look, nobody is going to give you the 100%, you know, right? But it, it's those little ways of saying, how did you deal with that situation? Like, I'm so dead Because right let me now. tell you, a lot of women, like, once you meet them, they like to open up and talk about their exes. You know, like <sighs> what happened there, you know, and that's and, and I use that opportunity to get down to the bottom of it, you know, because when they're right. having that conversation, they're already so emotionally like in tune with that conversation. It all comes it gives out you their personality. A it, little it, bit. it makes it come mm-hmm. out, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, if you ask them about work, oh, yeah, I'm work. I'm very professional. And no, no, no. But when they're talking about you can just tell it like, that mother effort or you know what? Like he would piss me off or I would do like they get so emotionally involved in that conversation, yeah. I know like oh she's telling the truth like mm-hmm. she's a hundred percent you know uh, like yeah. I see hate but again when they're usually like again what you know when it's like you know I'm, I'm really chill yeah you know what he cheated on me so what happened when he cheated on you you know nothing you know I was crying for like a couple of weeks this and that but took I don't me some time him, I'm over it huh but I don't deserve him, right I'm over so it. then I'm like okay cool this one's you know normal. We're, 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 we're getting some you give me some normal answers you know so again I, I think you know the evaluation process that's how I do it at least you know when I look at asking these questions finding and again you're not gonna find all the skeletons of course in the closet oh my god this reminds me of this one time too like this one girl I was talking to and this is a while back and I kid you not the most conservative quietest little woman you would have ever met was she Jewish? Uh, no she wasn't actually I don't, I don't remember to be honest this is like 10 years ago and I'll never forget like a friend of mine comes up to me and he's like bro I because I, you know he was like I, I know her from somewhere and you know you know everybody thinks they, they recognize someone him. they recognize somebody until he showed me the porn she was in you know I've seen strippers uh, that no. are like looking like church girls. I hope she, I wish she was a stripper. She was getting gang banged, you know, like it ain't in no the fun. worst way. In the w- no, I mean, so yeah. again, you're, are you going to find out all this? But but now I do ask those questions. To be honest, with you, I was like, hey, have you ever done movies? You know, have you ever danced? You know, this and that. And again, not in a job interview process, you know, going down. Not as a jab. It's a question. But again, this is, and I'm talking about all of these questions. This is not all in one night. You know, this is like, you know, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) as quick, as soon as possible, because most of the time, you know, uh, I have a very colorful background. So people are always like, so what did you do? And then, you know, I got to explain this. But then when I explain this, I got to also talk about that. Yeah, you got to, yeah. We get deeper down. So, you know. Break it it down. Right. So. That's where it's usually like, okay, now let's talk about you, you know, and let's get down, uh, you know, where where is your head at, you know? But again, I I generally generally speaking, you know, if if they are not at least single for a year, I I don't take them serious. And again, if they show me any type of instability, you know, mentally, uh, emotionally, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And even like again, I don't care about finances mm-hmm. because I don't want your money, you know. Because we all know daddy's paid. But I just want to make sure that, you you're know what? You're good no matter you're what. You're good. And you're not using me for what I got. And it's not even a, like, yeah, exactly. That mm-hmm. and it's like you're not the type of person that's waiting for a handout. Because mm-hmm. a lot of women are waiting for handouts, you know? What did you get me? What? And again, it's not that I wouldn't, but I just don't like the pressure of expectations. Yeah. You know, where it's like I expect you, you know, like I remember mm-hmm. this one girl, again, 
we go on a date and we start talking. And I'm, I'm having these conversations with her, you know, like, you know, asking these questions. And I kid you not, you know, she was like, I expect my, 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 my her, she was talking about her ex. She was like, I expected my guy every month that the day we met to, you know, give me flowers, like a dozen roses. I'm like, every month, I was like, aren't we too old for month anniversaries? Remember that shit? We did that in high school, you know? I said, no, 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 like every month. I got so, that. Okay, again, if he did it because yeah, he, he wanted, wanted it to, to. Yeah, that's I know. a Mine different was he wanted thing to. than somebody saying, mm -hmm. I expect, okay, we met on the 10th, you know, so every 10th of every month, I'm expecting a dozen roses, you know. That's already like, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like, I, I forget to pay so my well. cell phone bill right. most of the time, you we know? just had this discussion. Yeah, like, I, when, when I'm about to make a phone call, let me call Farah, like, oh, my phone is disconnected. You are being rerouted to T-Mobile customer <laughs> service. I'm like, oh, okay, my bill is due, you know? Oh, so wow. that's what I'm saying. So it's like, I'm the most, the worst guy at doing things like that. So when she's already talking about, I expected him to do this, or, or another time, I go out with somebody, we go on a date, and she could not stop talking about her ex you know like literally from the point from the time i picked oh, her she's up done love. you know exactly so these are the things that i have valued i'm like i i'm not this is not for me yeah you know what i mean like she was i'm like going to his house you know, and then of, probably and and <laughs> when i stopped talking to her you know then two days later hey how come you're not talking to me and this and that you know but well, I'm, jason called you like four times I, while yeah we're on i'm a like you know why don't you go worry about exactly whatever his name was you know so again you know uh, this whole thing, this whole episode, basically, is is we're talking about, you know, how I basically, you know, evaluate somebody. Actually, just shows that he's been on some really bad dates. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> not too many dates with her, but again, like that's what I'm saying. So that's one when I always talk about eval because I got a lot of shit for that episode. Did you well, bang it out or did you bang it out? No, 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 no. One? There's no banging happening at all. I was just like, dude, if I do something wrong, she gonna she's gonna me do a drive sleep. by on my house and. Then tell the cops i didn't know what to do i just shot up his house but that's what i'm saying so when i'm talking about evaluation you got to do that as quick as possible you know to be like you know and just like you when you say once you put a lot of time into a person you know you might be like ah i don't want to because you're going to get to that crossroad where you're going to be like look i put so much time and energy into this person i don't want to just pull mm -hmm. the plug because of one stupid little thing you know mm -hmm. and that's what i'm saying like be vigilant of that stupid little thing from the very get-go, yeah. you know. Dig into, you know, situations they have been, especially when that person is opening up. Yeah. You know, don't shut them out. Like, let. that's what I do. When they suddenly want to talk about something... You let them. I let them because, because it's something you teach, learn about. Them. Because that's that. That's the opportunity. Whatever they're talking about, you know, whether it's work, whether it's personal yeah. life, home life, their relation with their kids or their friends. Because it's that moment they're opening up, and again, that's when I start my evaluation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, oh my God, I don't get along with my sister. That bitch and this and that. Okay, you obviously come from a dysfunctional situation, anger you know, anger also. issues, you know. Oh, my God, you know, I'm like on my way to work, I was just freaking out, and traffic did it. Okay, mm -hmm. road rage, you know. Oh, my ex, this and that, da, 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 you know, like he broke uh, up. Uh, you just named a few things I've been doing. Right, exactly. <laughs> this is a hint for you to get some help. <laughs> Disowned. Uh, anyways, yeah, and, and that's, that's how I'm going to wrap it up by saying, look, <laughs> evaluate those situations as quick as possible, you know, for me personally, it could be, it can happen in a day, it can happen in a couple of weeks, it can happen in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. But once you realize, and you know, you know, and that's when your inner voice opens up and kind of makes you feel like, uh, I don't know, in the moment you have that uh, kind of feeling, feeling, that's the moment you have to make a mature decision, disown that situation, because again, you know, there's nobody on this planet that's gonna make you happy, mm -hmm but you yourself that will make you happy so you're either your worst nightmare or your best success yeah i couldn't have said it better even though i do say it better anyways always wants to take the credit <laughs> anyways guys once again thank you for tuning in to disowned make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you share thank you again to everybody on the subscribe. audio side to subscribe i said subscribe like comment share i said subscribe yes i do somebody over oh, wait. here download yeah okay oh okay download <laughs>
Anyways, guys, we love you and we're out. <laughs>